Once again, I don't have chickens, but I have had rats because of somebody's woodpile. Uh, mice. They're not the household dirty kind of mice. They're field mice. They're called door mice. And they will come every spring, regardless of chickens or not. Even the cleanest houses can have them. They will come into the house. Uh, the Congress report on the avian flu, they refer to it as flocks of chicken. Four or five chickens is not considered a flock. And the noise of cluckling hens, the person that's complaining about this, he's in the backyard, he has the school, and the screeching of the children, which is normal for kids, and the whistle blowing of the teachers, <laughs> it's deafening. So complaining about a few chickens clucking it doesn't go with me. Uh, the health and safety issues. Instead of worrying about a few pet chickens, they should worry more about the bigger problem that we have in our village. Health and safety, especially in the Steamboat Road area with so much illegal housing. Chickens don't throw beer cans on my garden or empty booze bottles smashed on the sidewalk. And who says chickens are farm animals? Upscale Manhasset and Roslyn allow them. Why does our village consider them a nuisance? Remember when we had horses and pigs? We had cows and sheep? You know, well, maybe you're not as old as me. Um, we could buy fresh milk and eggs down on Station Road, and that's the memories that my kids grew up with. I grew up in the London Blitz. My next door neighbor had a chicken coop. I can still remember my first time I was allowed to put my hand inside the nest and pull out a warm, fresh egg. My son Adam spent summers in an Alabama chicken farm with thousands of chicks, knee deep in chicken poop. He never got sick. If you statement, my name is Carl Santoro from the town of North Hempstead. I just want to give you a, a quick rundown. I hope you haven't heard it all before, and then again, I, I hope you have it. Resident of the town of Northampton, or are you a yes. worker? I'm a, I'm a homeowner in the town of Northampton um, on the benefits of having backyard chickens. Okay, many people across our nation are sincerely interested in living more sustainable as individuals and as communities. We believe one way to help achieve this is to produce a small percentage of the food we need for sustenance. There are many values and benefits to raising chickens in one's backyard, especially with the renewed green movement nationwide underway. We are hoping that Great Neck will follow the lead of Huntington and the city of New York to change their codes classifying chickens as nuisance or livestock animals to instead what they are for many people, loving pets who give back more than they receive. Huntington's town supervisor, Frank Patron, recently stated that the ordinance will be made by this spring. I believe it's already been made. The eggs these chickens lay are healthier and tastier. They contain 20 times more omega-3 fatty acids, have 34% less cholesterol, less fat, and 40% more vitamin A than factory farmed hen eggs. Making much less noise than a neighborhood dog, a dog breeding operation, a single leaf blowing device, chickens by comparison are appealing small creatures, sometimes making soft, gentle, clucking murmurs as they naturally and automatically march back into their coops at dusk. An economic and politically compelling reason to keep hens is to recycle food and yard waste, therefore keeping it out of landfills as it composts into an invaluable organic soil builder for your garden. Chickens act as a holistic system. Kitchen scraps are redirected as chicken feed 
comes out as manure and added to compost leads to good soil that will grow vegetables that humans can eat. The cycle begins again when the new kitchen scraps are once again fed to the chickens. What makes more sense than that? Finally, chickens love to eat protein-packed insects, which works out well because they serve as the organic pest cleanup crew in your garden and devour ticks, aphids, leaf-eating worms, snails, and slugs. Chickens are a soil saver. The health of our food is tied directly to the health of our soil. Their natural scratching and digging tendencies serve us well. They act as gasoline-free, noise-free tillers, mixing the top layers of soil with compost or other mulches. Chickens as pets is now a mainstream concept. Children learn where food comes from and can assist in raising them. It's a rewarding activity that the entire family can enjoy. As we have had first-hand experience in raising two hens in my own backyard in the recent past, we have given you photos and hopes you will appreciate why we are advocates for this cause. Thank you. After handling your dog or your dog feces, you shouldn't expect that people are going to be so ignorant as to not wash their hands when they have pet chickens. Um, the avian flu uh, is also a big, scary um, uh, thing that people get upset about. There's never been um, an H5N1 strain of um, uh, avian flu found in the United States. Um, in other countries, we do, and there's a good <clears throat> there's good evidence that that shows that. Uh, this flu comes from the large, huge factory production, and moving production to family flocks reduces that risk tremendously. Uh, again, washing your hands and being safe with your chickens is, is paramount. Um, rats. Rats almost always come up when people talk about chickens. Chickens don't bring rats. Um, food brings rats. People feed birds outside in bird feeders. There's more of a chance that you get rats from the, the, the feed in the bird feeders than chickens kept in a coop that's locked up. Um, let's see what else I had. Uh, and the, the other question we hear a lot is which came first, um, <laughs> the chicken or the egg? And I still haven't found the answer to that, and I'll, I'll, I'll try to get back to you on it's that. An question. Yeah, yeah. Um, as far as um, quiet enjoyment, um, Roosters make a lot of noise, and nobody here is asking for roosters. Um, it, it, it's a concern. I was concerned with my neighbors when we when we got the chickens. Um, they all like them. Okay. Uh, the, the other issue is um, there are other zoning rules uh, for noise and and filth, right? That you can use. If those are issues, address them with those other rules. But prohibiting chickens specifically because of the chickens may not make sense. Thank you. Thank you. Us. We, we got two eggs a day, we gave it to all our neighbors, they were beautiful, healthy, and if they saw us by the back door, they'd come up and fluff. And at dusk, you don't have to worry about hearing chickens at night, because they know predators are out there. I'm talking the hawks, not big um, raccoons and things, but there's hawks that come down. So they know, or maybe they're afraid of raccoons too, what do I know? But they, they do go into the coop at dusk, and then we always know to go in and even close the coop so that they would be safe. And, you know, we, we had to get rid of them because, of course, it was not cold. Eventually, we were found out, which was anyone's right to not want them. Because, so that's why we're getting involved in this, because... It was like giving two loving dogs away, that's all I can tell you, or cats that we love. We got, they were pets to us, and that's basically Thank you. Uh, and right now, you know, we're trying to do things like wrestle with our budget, which has to be adopted by the end of this month, and revitalize our downtown. I do not believe we can impose on our residents the additional cost of having uh, people check these and, uh, and research the issues when people complain. I also don't believe we can divert our very limited code enforcement staff, and it's very limited, from the very necessary features that they do, which are, you know, the most important things as a village, I think, as village um, officials we do, is public safety first and quality of life second. And our code enforcement people are out inspecting construction projects, 